Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Panther Reese Memorial. And kicking it off, we got an eight-man battle royal. Uh, not only dedicated to Panther, but uh, the winner of this battle royal will be able to face Cody Cobain at the next pay-per-view retribution for the Burning Skull Championship. And Chase Edwards already out of here. We got Cole Quinn. Good to see him back. We got Desmond in there. We got J.O. and Liam, former tag team partners. This could this could be very interesting. We got JTB. JTB seems to be clearing house. Just eliminated Cole Quinn and Chase Edwards in a small amount of time. Now Maverick taking them on. Maverick, good to see him back. But and Ma Maverick is out of here already. JTB with three eliminations already. This is insane. There were eight people in the ring. Now there's only five. JTB eliminated everyone so far. Looks like MV's next. Uh oh, MV. And MV just barely dodged that clothesline. And, you know, I feel like everyone should just gang up on JTB. JTB's bigger than everyone here. Uh, and he's obviously eliminated everyone. What happened to Liam over there, by the way? Why is he out cold? Uh-oh. JTB. We know him and Liam have history. From the Empire to their own feud. But look at this. Liam is out of here. Look at JTB going crazy in there. MV in trouble now. We got... J.O. and JTB, the brothers, they were close with Panther. Uh, MV in trouble. J.O. tried helping, I think, but he accidentally broke it up. This is the Empire going to reunite. Look at this. Look at this. They're stomping out MV. What can MV do? Oh, look at this. J.O. stepping in for his brother JTB, and look at this. Desmond. J.O. trying to make a move on Desmond, but Desmond is just dodging without even trying. And now J.O., did he just portray JTB with a roundhouse kick? Desmond is really piecing up MV right now. And J.O. has been trying to get a grip on Desmond, and there it is, a backstabber. And now MV on the floor. MV's been taking one hell of a beating. And here goes J.O. now with an arm bar. Oh, Andy's taking the leg. And MV taps. MV taps out. J.O. releases it. And now JTB going to take advantage of the already hurt MV. And see you later, MV. And then there were three. Now, what can Desmond do in this situation? It's basically two on one. The brothers versus Desmond. And it's obvious J.O. and JTB already have problems with Desmond. Because if you guys don't know, before JTB vanished for a couple months it was the empire feuding with desmond when he was with jish and og still and it looks like jtv just manhandling desmond just carrying him like he's nothing and jo trying to assist him i think it's two on one is desmond gonna get out of here oh oh desmond hangs on dang De desmond he's got a lot of potential here to be a big star but i feel like today is not the night i mean if he can overcome J.O. and JTB then this will definitely be as nice to shine as a star wait a second what's J.O.'s problem did he just turn on his own brother and J.O. looking to eliminate JTB but he obviously can't pick him up so he's just gonna wear him down and look at the double team now J.O. and Desmond this is smart now oh but JTB look at this oh my god that Luke Des Press is taking down Desmond J.O. It's the blows from JTB. Look at JTB's power being showcased. JTB has been all over this match lately. He's eliminated basically everyone. I'm pretty sure he eliminated everyone. Look at this. Just manhandling Desmond and J.O. Look at that. He just caught J.O. And there's a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Oh, but Desmond. Oh, missing that, that kick. And there's a clothesline turning him inside out. And JTB taunting Desmond. But he didn't see J.O. J.O. fighting back. Not for long. Superman punch. And he's got Desmond up high. For the F5. The crowd is going crazy for JTB. Oh my god. Who is that? That's Bobby Page. Bobby Page obviously still mad about what happened at Summer Blast when JTB beat him in seconds. No. Oh no. JTB is gone. And I know for a fact JTB wanted to get that Burning Skull opportunity so he could get revenge on Cody Cobain for what he did at the Rising Sun pay-per-view in February. 
But now this one-on-one -on -one is pretty interesting. Desmond and J.O. De J.O., a veteran here in WG, former, bar former, former WGE champion. Desmond, he still hasn't won a title here, but this can be his opportunity. And Desmond, Desmond, hold on, hold on. He got him, he got him. Desmond, Desmond. This is Desmond's opportunity. He's got J.O. where he wants him. J.O.'s out. Come on, Desmond. This is Desmond's chance. A star is born here tonight. Oh, no. Desmond, so close. Missing that Instaguri. J.O. Backstabber on Desmond. No. This was De Desmond's chance to shine, but Desmond hangs on. But not for long. And J.O. will be facing Cody Cobain. Desmond gave it everything he had. You got to appreciate that. Oh, man. But anyways, it's time to look at the bigger picture now. J.O. will be facing Cody Cobain. Now, I think that is a very interesting rivalry that'll be brewing up. You know, I think J.O. J.O. still has one more title run left in him. One more world title run. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it. But coming up next... We got the first ever women's match on a pay-per-view since WrestleMania. So that's interesting. It's been nearly, it's been over a year. And the first match we got is uh, Hazel versus Carissa Cobain. Uh, to those of you who don't know anything about this, the women's division has, has returned on WG's Instagram for about a month now. This feud started when Carissa Cobain challenged another wrestler scream for the women's championship and hazel costed carissa specifically because hazel believed that carissa did, simply just didn't deserve the opportunity so this feud has been brewing up and it'll probably come to an end here tonight and here comes uh the girlfriend of cody cobain carissa cobain uh not much is known about either of these women, so I can't really, like, list down accomplishments other than the fact that Crystal Cobain beat Hazel earlier this week, and she was able to decide that this match be a no disqualification match. So, this is kind of like, either Crystal Cobain can prove that she did deserve that women's title opportunity, or Hazel can, uh, get revenge on Carissa for the loss she took a couple days ago. I find this to be very interesting considering this is the first ever women's division match on a pay-per-view since WrestleMania of last year. Hazel, very egotistical. Oh my god, oh my god! A cave-in on Hazel! Here's the cover already! Oh, Hazel kicks out. You know, the women's division isn't exactly stacked at the moment, so maybe if... The winner of this match, maybe that could lead to a women, women's title opportunity. But Crystal Cobain is getting the best of Hazel here tonight. Look at this, Crystal Cobain just mauling Hazel. Hazel fighting back here. Now, it's Hazel on the offensive. Look at this, Carissa getting pieced up at the moment. Look at this. Carissa Cobain, pretty sure she's like bigger than Hazel, so maybe that could lead to an advantage. Look at this. Oh, Pele kicked by Hazel. Now taunting Carissa, that's not really smart. I mean, I don't know much about either of these people, but taunting someone in a match just isn't smart on whoever you do it on. Look at this, she's got her up. Oh! Planning Hazel to the ground and out. Drop kick to the face. But Hazel is, is going to continue to fight back against Carissa. And look at that bulldog on Carissa. And to the top goes Hazel. Oh, but Carissa sending her down. And now Carissa bringing her up. And into the corner goes Hazel, but a reversal by Hazel. And look at this, a, a snap mirror and a kick to the face. 
And she's gonna pin her after that. I'm pretty sure her feet are. Uh, it don't matter. It's not DQ anyways. Who cares? Well, Carissa Cobain back to her feet. And look at this. Hazel's spending too much time, like, daydreaming or something. I don't know. Oh, but look at this. It don't matter. What is this? She's got her up. It's like a vertebraker. Oh! Could that be it? Oh, Carissa kicks out. Just barely, though. Oh, she's back to her feet. I don't know. What, what's Carissa going to do? Oh, a headbutt right to the face. Look at this. Is this... Oh, Hazel with a nice counter on Carissa Cobain. Carissa Cobain dodges the blow there. Ooh, dodges that elbow in a trouble in paradise. Could this be it? Oh, wait, what is this? She's got her feet on the ropes. She's got her feet on the ropes. And Hazel gets the win by cheating. Hazel put her feet on the rope. I mean, it was no disqualification, but... Well, she won, I guess. I guess that's all that matters. Hazel gets the victory over Carissa Cobain after putting her feet on the ropes. Well, that's not really a great way to end the first ever women's division match on a pay-per-view since last year. Oh, whatever. As Hazel Bass in this moment, let me tell you all, coming up next, we got the debut of WWE legend, The Boogeyman. I did not think I'd be saying that in a WG-related conversation, but yes, that is true. The Real Boogeyman will be making his debut up next. And his opponent is none other than former global champion, Steven Lazo. Good luck, I guess. Um, being accompanied by the possessed Jack Drive and Mosh Pit, the Boogeyman is in WGE. He made his WGE like appearance. He made his first appearance with uh, Mosh Pit at Summer Blast. He helped him defeat Logan X. And I feel like Mosh Pit purposely brought Jack Drive out here just just to rub it in, you know. Like, he beat him at Summer Blast, and he still took his brother. You know? This is weird. Mosh Pit's a sick dude, and now he's got the Boogeyman by his side. So weird. Honestly, if you're Steven Lazo, what I'll do is I'll just wait for the bell to ring, and then I'll just leave. Because I know Steven wants to, like, make a name for himself once again, because he's been kind of on a losing streak ever since Money in the Bank, but, you know. Is it honestly worth it, stepping into the ring with the Boogeyman? I would not do this. But that's just me. Here we go. Best of luck, Steven, I guess. Here we go. Stare down. Well, this match has already lasted way longer than I thought it would. And, oh, well. The Boogeyman. With Steven on the floor. Steven, what do you do in this situation? Just... We are witnessing... Domination here on Steven Lazo. Look at this. Oh! And the boogeyman just. Oh, wait, Steven! Steven! Pedigree on the boogeyman! Wait a second! Oh, well, he just kicked out of one. Okay. That was probably Steven's only hope at getting a win. And the boogeyman reverses him. Kicked out of the pedigree at one. That's just basically a sign that the Boogeyman will not go down easily for Steven. And look at that body slam. Into the corner goes Steven. And the Boogeyman with the splash. Oh my goodness. The Boogeyman. And, and he's setting up Steven Lazo for the pump handle slam. And he's got him. He's not kicking. That's it. That's got to be it. Yep. Boogeyman, Boogeyman wins in his first match. Just absolutely destroyed Steven Lazo. Oh, okay. um, did you expect anything different, though? 
no matter who it was. It could have been anyone. Nobody is going to last long with the Boogeyman in the ring. I don't think. Boogeyman is a serious threat in WG, especially when he's with Mosh Pit. Well, welcome to WGE, Boogeyman, and back to the drawing board for Steven Lazo. This guy is so creepy. Well, oh, wait a second. Wait, Logan X. Where did Logan X come from? He's beating the hell out of Mosh Pit. In the ring, Jack Drive. What? What? Jack Drive with a with a with his finisher, the Boogeyman. I thought he was possessed. Not anymore. While well, Logan X mauls Mosh Pit, Jack Drive is back. Wow. But coming up next, we got the reunited tag team of the top one percent going two on two against Airborne. Now, to those of you who don't know, this feud started literally this week when Suicide Bliss said his final goodbyes. Tay Andrews and Danny Sullivan would come out because arguably Suicide Bliss's best times in WG was when he was with Danny and Tay in the top 1%. And I guess X Factor and Python were mad about that. Tay Andrews coming out with Danny to celebrate with Bliss. So they called Tay Andrews a traitor. So now we're here. Tay Andrews with a little bit of a throwback theme song. We haven't heard this one in a minute. Oh, man. Look at that attire, by the way. That is a fire attire from Tay. Oh, man, that, that is very sick. Might be his best gear. Might Definitely one of my favorite gears of his. Look at that. It's like all like shiny and rainbow and stuff. Pretty cool. You, you got a question, you know. How can Tay Andrews be feeling about this? Because he's reunited with one of his best friends, but at the same time, he's facing two of his new friends. Specifically just because X-Factor and Python are jealous of Tay? I don't know. This is so confusing. But for those of you who are questioning, no, the titles are not on the line here tonight. I know X-Factor and Python, the new metal tag team champions. Take a look at the new tag team championship designs. For those of you who don't know, the tag titles have moved to specific brands. Like now, there's metal tag team champions and uh, and unrivaled tag team champions. And since X Factor and Python were drafted to metal and they were the original tag team champions before this happened, they were automatically crowned as the first ever metal tag team champions.
X Factor was not able to break up the cross face in time. Sorry for not commentating this whole match. My mic was bugging out for some reason. But the top 1% is as dominant now as they were last year. And you love to see it. You know, this is almost a little bit nostalgic in a way. So, great to see the top 1% back together. And, you know, maybe they could be tag champions once again. Um, look at X-Factor and Python. They are not happy at that outcome. And Danny and Tay are standing their ground telling X-Factor and Python to bring it if they want to go again. But Danny and Tay are out of here. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. What is this? What is going on? Why is Danny attacking Tay? Oh, my goodness. Throwing them into the apron. What is going on? I was just giving all them praise, saying they could be next tag team champions. But, oh, into the steps. What is this? Oh, come on. Danny Sullivan beating the hell out of Tay Andrews while X-Factor and Python are just sitting there and watching. These guys just... These guys just proved that they still are a great tag team. What is Danny doing? Oh, my... Oh. This is awful. What is going on here? X Factor and Python still in the ring. I'm so confused right now. Danny Sullivan just. Him and Tay just. Did great as a tag team. And now he's just mauling Tay Andrews. Oh, what is this? Wait a minute. Now X Factor's coming in. And he's got Tay up and he's gonna put him down. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Now into the corner goes Tay and Danny Sullivan's there watching. What is going on here? Has Danny Sullivan aligned himself with Python and X-Factor? Has this been an act this whole entire time? Python just just dapped up Danny Sullivan. That basically just indicates that Danny it is Danny just did Danny just take Tay, Tay Andrews as friends? Like was X-Factor calling Tay a traitor earlier? A whole setup and now there's the cross face. Oh my god. Someone needs to stop this. Tay Andrews, look at him. He's easy now. He's gonna kill him with that cross face. Oh man, Tay Andrews. Tay Andrews is tapping finally. I'm like, oh my goodness. Now he's taunting. What is going on here? Well, if this is the new faction, if they did dominant with Tay. Can you just imagine the potential this, this group of three has with Danny Sullivan as the leader? But coming up next, it's main event time. We got the new, not the newly crowned, but the WGE champion, XZ, going against the translator, the former Burning Skull champion. You know, the translator specifically requested this match. Translator's been on a bit of a losing streak. You know, he lost at Summer Blast, then he lost on Metal. So this is his chance to rebound after those two losses. The translator, he's only been in WG for a little over a year and he's done so much for the company, you know. First ever United States Champion, former Tag Team Champion, Royal Rumble winner this year, former Burning Skull Champion, and he's been voted to be Superstar of the Year. And, you know, he's he's arguably the greatest Burning Skull Champion of all time, so if the translator can be WGE Champion, I want to know what that would look like. But, we all know XZ, he's... he's willing to beat anyone at this point because we all know who confronted him at Summer Blast. We all know who's next in line for the for the WG title no matter who wins this and it's Chris Danger. And I know XZ really wants to have a match with Chris Danger because XZ I'm pretty sure his favorite wrestling YouTuber was Denkov. So XZ's probably been waiting a long time for this. But the translator, imagine a match between the translator and Chris Danger. That would be amazing. And, you know, I think this match is going to be just as good. Two former world champions. Well, XZ is a current world champion, but both came into WG around the same time. XZ, uh, 
in his first ever match in WG, won the Internet Championship, the Translator. Early on in his career, won the U.S. Championship. Here we go. This match is going to be really good. I could already tell. You know, these two obviously have a lot of respect for each other, so this is like a mutual matchup, and we're going to start off with a little bit of taunt here. Here we go. Collar and elbow tie up, and oh, and the translator with a kick to XZ. And oh, never mind. Look at this. Translator gets dropped by XZ, and XZ going to continue to taunt. Translator moves out the way. Translator gonna fight back. Oh, there's an arm drag. Here goes the translator. Missing that knee though, and oh, Eggsy. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we're gonna be seeing Xavion go one on one with the translator. That uh, seated senton, here's the cover. Oh, translator kicking out. Translator fights back, you know. He's been on a bit of a losing streak. I'm starting to see him get more and more frustrated as the losses go on. But, you know. Translator. Oh, man. Look at this. Dominating XZ. And there's an elbow drop. XZ back to his feet. There's a super kick right to the face. And XZ once again with that senton. Until the top rope goes XZ. And oh, he was going for a splash, and the translator put his knees up. Oh, the neuralizer. The neuralizer connects. The cover. Oh. But the translator cannot waste time here. He's got to think of something. You got to think of it quick. Maybe a springboard coming. XZ. Oh, he XZ tried running. But the translator still caught him. And oh, XZ dodges that clothesline, but translator with a kick to the gut. Just reversal after reversal. This match is amazing so far. And there's the translator with a nice reversal. But XZ back to his feet. Counters another clothesline. Look at this. They're just going at it with each other, but there's a super kick. And oh, he missed the sense on that that time. Translator. Oh, STO on XZ. The cover. Ah, oh, the champ kicks out. Oh, XZ's back up. Taking down the translator. And once again with that sent on, but he missed it again. And, oh, missing that clothesline again. And there's a boot to the face, and the translator is busted wide open. But that's not going to give the translator a need to recover. Translator, oh, gets reversed. Super kick countered. Knee to the face. Eggsy's back to his feet. But translator, lumbar check coming. Oh, Eggsy with a counter. Translator with that lumbar check. That, that, that probably could have gotten him the win. And look at this. Oh, wait, Panama Sunrise. Oh. Translator and Eggsy are so fast in there. Eggsy to the top rope. Once again, is it going to succeed this time? Elbow drop. Missed. Missed. The translator. Again with these combos. Look at this. Look at the translator go. This has been one hell of a match. Oh, look at this. Can he, He's going to pick him up. And then STO off the ropes. He's not even going to try to cover. He's going to go for another springboard. Oh, maybe not. He's going to the top rope. We don't. We rarely see the translator go to the top rope, and there's a crossbody. Quick cover. Oh, but XZ kicks out once again. What a match this has been. Translator with that cut on his face. Oh, man. XZ. XZ with the combos now. Look at this. Bringing the fight to the translator. And there's a clothesline just taking him down. Translator back up, though. XZ. Oh no, power bomb coming. Oh, translator fights off. Translator fights off. Look at this. He's not going to give up. Translator giving XZ the fight of his life right here. Look at this. Look at the translator go. 
XZ is stunned, and there's a corner clothesline. Translator. Springboard. Frog splash. Cover. And XZ kicks out again. What does the translator got to do? What do either of these men have to do to put each other away? So many combos and stuff. Look at this. What's he going for here? Sign up for... Oh, and Translator gets taken outside. Exe sent on off the apron. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Look at this. Exe powerbomb coming. And Exe with a powerbomb on the barricade. Oh, my God. That could do it for the Translator, but Exe wants to make sure... That the translator is finished. And look at this. Just mauling him with that steel chair. Uh oh. Translator back to his feet. Look at this. And throwing Egg Z into the ring. Now the translator's got that chair. Translator. Oh wait. Stunner. 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 Out of nowhere. Egg Z retains. No. No. Egg Z with that stunner out of nowhere. I thought for sure that was going to be it. But the translator continuing to fight. And XZ got to be thinking, what can he do? Oh, trainers, translator get ba gets back up. Close line by the translator. Are we witnessing the comeback? Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. Missing that clothesline. And a clothesline of his own. And the translator is feeling it. And he's begging XZ to get back to his feet. Translator. What's this? He's got him up. Look at this. Oh, I don't even know what that was. But the translator to the top. He's got it. Oh, we missed that elbow drop. And all that momentum just got brought down by XZ. And XZ once again with that senton. Oh my god, we're seeing that so frequently here in this match. And there's, oh, he missed the clothesline. Translator, roll up. Cover! Look at this! Oh, XZ kicks out. Oh, but XZ. Never mind. Translator. Oh. Look at this. Irish whip into the corner goes the translator. And now XZ taking control with a cannonball on the translator. And he's gonna go for the cover. Is this it? Somehow, some way, the translator kicks out again. What does XZ gotta do? And the translator's back up like nothing happened. Wait a minute. Lombard check. Lombard check. The pin. And new champ. Oh no. That was the translator's opportunity. That lumbar check. And the translator is thinking, what can he do here? Oh, but XZ fighting back. Look at this, a combo here by XZ. Oh, man. Translator. Translator does not want this to happen to him. And he's turning him around, and there's a blow right to the back of the head. What is XZ thinking here? What is this? Oh, God. Oh, no. Is he going for a powerbomb off the top rope? Oh, my God. A powerbomb off the top rope. XZ, stunner on the translator. Cover. And just like that, XZ retains. What a match. The translator has nothing to be ashamed of. Translator, he may, he may keep on losing, but all these five-star classics he keeps putting up is insane. Oh my goodness. What a show. Rest in peace, Panther Reese, and let the celebration begin. For still our WG champion XZ. And I'm really looking forward to XZ versus Chris Danger. Well, that just brings up a new question though. What what's next for the translator? What can he do now? Cause I don't think he'll he'll get another world title opportunity anytime soon. Oh, well, that, that's for us to figure out soon. 
But thank you everybody for watching the Panther Reese Memorial Show.